I was born 87 years ago. For 65 years, I've ruled as Tamriel's emperor. But for all these years, I've never been the ruler of my own dreams. I have seen the gates of oblivion, beyond which no waking eye may see. Behold, in darkness, a doom sweeps the land. This is the 27th of Last Seed, the year of Akatosh 433. These are the closing days of the Third Era and the final hours of my life. All right. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. My name is Dalton Rundinger, and welcome to Let's Try This Again. Um, since I've had this channel up, I tried doing Oblivion in the past, uh, but I had it modded to all buggery, so I the game ultimately quit on me, is basically what happened. Uh, the mods just made the game uh, have a game-breaking bug. I tried doing the Mages Guild quest, uh, and... Uh, the guy that you're supposed to get your robes from whenever you do, like, all the associate stuff. Um, he wouldn't give me my robes for some reason. So, I'm going to be doing a playthrough of this game unmodded. And I have a an idea in mind that might kind of make the game a little bit more challenging for me. And maybe a little bit more interesting to you guys. So, yeah. Welcome to The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. By far, one of my more favorite games. Um, I've tried doing many Let's Plays of this in the past. Uh, each time it failed for whatever reason. I'm going to hope that doesn't happen this time. And uh, I'm just going to kind of make a character fairly somewhat quickly. Yeah, that'll do. I have to make a character that looks at least a little bit like me. Brown, there we go. Make that nose just a little bit smaller, and I think that'll be good enough. Uh, yeah, that that's me as a potato face. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna name my character Dalton. So yeah, as boring as it might be, this game is going to be 100% unmodded, but I really want to do a playthrough of this game. I've tried it many, many times. Snotty expressions. Excuse me? You're a Breton. The masters of Magicka, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Nothing but a bunch of stuck-up snobs. That's darn right. Tricks. Cheap! Excuse Go me? Ahead. Try your magicka in here. I just did. Let's see you make those bars disappear. That's not how magic works. No. What's the matter? Not so powerful now, are you? Oh, you Breton? just wait, buddy. I'm gonna get to you. You're not leaving this prison till they throw your body in the lake. Oh, that's right. You're going to die in here, Breton. You're going to well, die. Well, if dying means I don't have to listen to you anymore, that'd be hey, a welcome you hear change. That? The guards are coming. For you. <laughs> uh, lock that door I hear voices. Yes, sir. My sons. I hear footsteps. Oh crap! They are coming. 
Uh, yeah, hide, hide, hide. No one's here. The messenger only said they were attacked. No, they're dead. I know it. They can't see me, right? My job right now is to get you to safety. What's this prisoner doing here? How did you know? This cell is supposed to be off limits. How did you see me? Usual mix up with the watch. I. Never mind. Get that gate open. Stand back, prisoner. Uh, we won't hesitate to kill you if you get in our way. The, uh, uh, I'm frozen to the spot. Stay away! No sign of pursuit, sir. Stay put, prisoner. Good. Okay. Let's go. Uh, I don't have much to offer, but yet. you want a skull? His name's Mort. You. I'll take this I've now. seen you. Huh? Let me see your face. You are the one from my dreams. Creeper! Then the stars were right. And this is the day. Gods give me strength. Uh, what's going on? Assassins attacked my sons, and I am next. My blades are leading me out of the city along a secret escape route. By chance, the entrance to that escape route leads through your cell. <laughs> well, what a coinky dink. How do you not know who the Emperor is? But you know, whatever. Um, who are you? I am your Emperor, Uriel Septim. By the grace of the gods, I serve Tamriel no, as her ruler. Nut. You are a citizen of Tamriel, and you too shall serve her in your own way. Uh, why am I in jail? Perhaps the gods have placed you here so that we may meet. As for what you have done, it does not matter. Um, that is not what you will be remembered for. Can I have that in writing, by the way? You, the Emperor, just said, whatever I did, it doesn't matter. All right, I want that in writing, all right? I want that on a parchment before I get out of the sewers. Uh, I go my own way. So do we all. But what path can be avoided whose end is fixed by the almighty gods? You feel like the gods Please, are Please, sire, you? we must keep moving. Uh, what? Better not close this one. There's no way to open it from the other side. This doesn't concern like this is your prisoner. lucky day. Just stay out of You're our in way. my cell, therefore it concerns me. Right, well, um I can't go through the door because it's locked, and I don't really want to go talk to that guy, so uh I'm gonna follow you guys! Oh, wow, it's really dark in here. So how about this secret tunnel, huh? Pretty, inter pretty interesting. You don't want to talk? Okay, that's per that's perfectly fine. I wouldn't want to talk to me either. Close uh, left. Protect the emperor. Uh. The down. For the emperor. Die, you. Right. I think I just got myself mixed up in something I don't want any part of. So I'm just gonna go back to my cell and be a good little prisoner. I think they're done. Captain Reno? She's dead. Sorry, sire. But we have to keep moving. Uh, okay. Well, this is turning out to be quite a prison break. Um... For us here. Don't know, but it's too late to go back now. Don't worry, sir. We will get you out of here. They won't be the first to underestimate the blades. Uh, I'll that's the point. dead captain. You stay here, prisoner. Uh, what? Don't try to follow us. Uh, Stay here! Who knows what could attack me? What if more of those guys come back? What am I to do then? What the... A rat?! I'm... Okay, there are rats in here, buddy. And the wall just fell apart. Okay, um... Okay, enough clowning around. Um... Go for flare. Ouch! Oh, you're right there. Okay. So... I have an idea that I want to try. I have no idea if it's actually going to work or not, but I'm going to kind of do a bit of a role-playing kind of thing. Um, where I try and kind of behave in the way that my character would. Uh, I'll take that. Yo. Uh, I don't really know how to put it in words, but I'm going to try doing a bit of a, uh, a role-playing thing. Not as much as I tried when I was uh, doing the first playthrough with uh, Jessica, but I'll do like a semi-roleplay kind of thing. Okay, so firstly, my character is pretty much all about the magic, all right? He doesn't really know how to use uh, swords or anything like that. 
he is pretty much strictly a mage. Like, magic is, magic is real power. He doesn't want to bother with weapons. However, he can use a dagger. Um, so lock picks, yeah. I can sell them, but I don't really want to use them. I'll take that torch, though. You can't open locks with lock picks. Um, did I not pick up that dagger? There we go. And I'm also going to try playing with the Atronach sign, which means that my Magicka will not regenerate over time. I'm going to have to use resources in the game to uh, regain my Magicka. I've, I've kind of done it a few times in the past, and there are a few characters, a few YouTubers who have done it as well. Um, namely, Sorcerer Dave, Gix, and Nagandal. Uh, those are the three that come to my mind right off the bat. Now, this torch, I'm not going to keep this torch forever. I can't really use a sword. I'm going to go ahead and drop that. So, playing as the Atronach, it's going to make alchemy extremely important. And it's also going to make uh, Welking Stones pretty important as well. Um, typically, I sell Welking Stones. But oh, hello. I'm not gonna want to do. I'm not gonna want to do that with this character. I'm gonna want to keep as many of them as I possibly can. Um, hello, Mr. Rat. Right. So all this food and stuff. I'm gonna be collecting that. Um, you really shouldn't turn down food in this game anyway. It, it's really basically just free money. And if you're playing as a mage in this game, money is pretty much everything, because it's how you buy spells, it's how you create spells. Um, if you're playing as a warrior, money is kind of useless. Um, heck, even arguably as a thief, really, but for mages, money is pretty darn important. get a single one of those? Are you serious? So, yeah. As far as loot goes, I, as a mage, would have no interest in, interest in picking this up at all. Who knows how long it's been down here? Even though it's made of uh, silver, it's... Yeah, I wouldn't want to touch it. It's been next to a skeleton the entire time. Um, so, yeah. That, just kind of a little hint of the... Uh, semi-role-playing thing I've got planned. There we go. Finally got something. Okay, good. Two poisons that I can use. Um, I'll take that, actually. Probably better than these crappy sandals I'm forced to wear. Much better. I mean, who knows how long they've been down here. But... Goodbye, Mr. Goblin. The sneaking in this game is actually pretty decent. It's it's far from perfect, but for for a game that came out in 2006, the sneaking is pretty good. Uh, can't open that yet. I don't have any unlock spell. 
Hello. Uh-oh. A dead rat. I assume the goblins killed him. So I don't know how long I'm going to keep the episodes for this. I'm probably going to lean around maybe 20 minutes or so. If you prefer longer episodes, let me know. I will definitely take it in consi into consideration. And right now, I'm just blazing through the tutorial as quickly as I can. I've done it, I don't know how many times, probably a good couple of million. <laughs> um, I don't really need the potion of respite. You know, I can sell it. If I get too over encumbered, I can just drop it later on. Oh, hello. So, I didn't make any poisons, which is kind of what I wanted to do. Um, yeah, I can keep one of those. These particular plants will become important later on. But for right now, uh, they're useful for poisons. Um... So, this is a good way that I'm going to be able to save save on my Magicka. Uh, the way poisons work is you poison your weapon, and then you basically just slash them. Oh. Yeah, here we go. There we go. Good example of it. Came him right up. So, yeah, I hit him. And now he's just going to die. <laughs> Um, I guess I could sell that. Also, I'm going to take off my wrist irons. I have no intention of wanting to keep those on me. If I was doing like a more hardcore roleplay, I'd probably just toss them, but I know that I can use them later on. The staff is basically next to useless. It's it's really kind of garbage. Um, I think there are a total of seven other staffs that are like this, and they are extremely, extremely expensive. Um, I think they go for 7,700 gold a piece. The problem is there's no vendor that uh, can buy them for that kind of price. The closest you're going to be able to get to would probably be a guy in the Imperial City Market District. Which I will show you uh, whenever we get out of the... Out of the... Out of the tutorial. If I could speak, that'd be fantastic. Um, Lockpick, fantastic. I have no... I probably could have taken the arrows, actually, but yeah, oh well. Spot and protect the Emperor until help arrives. Help? What makes you think help will get here before more? Than that? We need to get the Emperor again. Out of here. Ah, ah, for the dragon. Will you fall down and? Ah. Hey, he had a potion of sorcery. Ah. That's useful. And that guy had a potion, but he used it. Damn it! It's that prisoner again. Kill him. He might be working with the assassins. Why would you kill him? No, me? he is not one of them. He can help us. He must help us. They cannot understand why I trust you. I don't either, to be honest. They've not seen what I've seen. What have you seen? How can I explain? Listen, you know the Nine, how they guide our fates with an invisible hand. Um, for anyone unfamiliar with the Elder Scrolls, the Nine are basically the Nine gods that uh, the people worship. Um... I'm not on good terms with the gods. They put me in prison. I've served the Nine all my days, and I chart my course by the cycles of the heavens. The skies are marked with numberless sparks, each a fire, and every one a sign. I know these stars well, and I wonder which sign marked your birth. All right, um, I, I mentioned this earlier. We're going to go for the sign of the Atronach. Um, the Atronach is actually very interesting. 
Uh, as a Breton, I already have a pretty decent resistance to magic, but the Atronach boosts that by 50%, and it also gives me a chance to absorb magic, um, which will recharge my Magicka use, uh, or my Magicka. Uh, and it's also, my base Magicka is also increased by 150 points, so this gives you the most Magicka, but it, it comes with a price. The signs I read show the end of my path. My death, a necessary end, will come when it will come. Uh, what about me? Your stars are not mine. Today the Atronork shall aid you with your appointed burden. Uh, aren't you afraid to die? No trophies of my triumphs precede me, but I have lived well, and my ghost shall rest easy. Men are but flesh and blood. They know their doom, but not the hour. In this, I am blessed to see the hour of my death. To face my apportioned fate, then fall. Um, if you don't want to hear this guy talk, uh, feel free to just skip ahead. It, it's not going to bother me at all. I'm just recording this for anyone who's new to the game and might take interest with it. My dreams grant me no opinions of success. Their compass ventures not beyond the doors of death. But in your face, I behold the sun's companion. The dawn of Akatosh's bright glory may banish the coming darkness. With such hope, and with the promise of your aid, my heart must be satisfied. Uh-huh. So where are we going? I go to my grave, oh, stop talking about a tongue death. shriller than all the music calls me. You shall follow me yet for a while, then we must part. Okay, he's finally shutting up. God. You may as well make yourself useful. Carry that torch and stick close. Yeah, the tutorial in this game goes pretty slow. Um, stick close and let us do our job. I'm trying to blaze through it, it as fast right. as I can, but I also want to give people who have never played it before a chance to kind of see what the game is actually like. And also, I'm going to try and do a bit of a collector run. I'm going to try and collect two pieces of every clothing in the game. Um, so yeah, that's the Mythic Dawn robes out of the way. I haven't decided... Um, what all I want to do with this game whether I want to do the main quest or